all of soy. All right. All right. Let's get those keenographers in here, folks. Let's get them in here. Got to jump into a goddamn Discord chat. Every professional podcast in 2019 just records a Discord call. Never forget it. That's how the things work. You want to become a professional podcaster like me? You get a Discord call going. Just record the call. Upload that shit raw. <laughs> The soy call of soy. <laughs> uh, okay. Boys. Hello. Yeah. Do I sound like shit? Should I plug in my second Florian mic for Discord? Oh, shit. Yeah, it seems you're fine at the moment. Okay, good. No more Florian bitching. What? Well, this is honestly the first time it ever did that. I don't know. Pretty oh, okay. weird. All right. Somebody in the chat tell me, how is the audio mixing? Do the boys on Discord sound as loud as me, or do I need to turn them up or down? The I boys. Be quiet. No, you guys both sound good to me. It's just uh, Woo! Uh, every Woo! time I do this, OBS decides to change it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I'm Animated sure there's somebody who works no at OBS. Great. Oh, yeah. really? you at all? No, no, he's fucking lying. Everybody says it sounds Ow. good. Fucking demon. Animated demon <laughs> last night during my stream convinced me people were posting child pornography in my Discord. So I go oh, in wow. there. I go in there, and it just says you've been gnomed a hundred times. No, oh, my God. <laughs> they gnomed me hard, dude. <laughs> Damn. I've never been so gnomed. You have the best <laughs> fan. We just gnome you. <laughs> I've never been so humiliated in my life. <laughs> uh, they're Man. saying that Soy is a little quieter than usual. Sexy accent guy? Who the fuck is that? That's Florian. Uh... <laughs> Why is it so funny? Wow. Uh... <laughs> Florian, we're going to get you a girlfriend. This is happening. Oh no, this again. <laughs> if in Florian, my stream... If Florian consents, I will launch... America's Next Top Florian Girlfriend <laughs> Contest. Oh no. Well, not right away. <laughs> Florian, do you have a webcam you can use? For well, what? Yeah, but not now. We're gonna we're gonna show him off. Oh jeez. I mean, he posted a face cam video like two weeks ago. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Of him reviewing <laughs> what a microphone? Is that what that was? A headset. Heads yeah, something like that. I watched it. I'm, I also watched I'm, your guys' stream. Sucking uh -huh. Anita Sarkeesian's clit today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Was, was both that what was strange? really big Anita fans? Yeah, I do like that one, huh? <laughs> Wait, is this some kind of is this some kind of like trick? Am I being am I <laughs> am I gonna be exed at some point? Because I came onto the stream assuming the Florian would be so heavily anti Anita Sarkeesian. <laughs> that didn't happen at all. What if what yeah. if we made a movie called Anita? Sarkeesian Battle Angel. <laughs> Damn. That's amazing. And the character has no tits or ass. It's it's an amorphous blob of a body. So then you no. can't but sexualize she, it. But she's mm -hmm. got huge hoop earrings that, that work as, as bladed weapons. <laughs> <laughs> she just shakes her head to like... I don't know, but people. but aren't uh, big earrings, isn't that a, a, a gender role for women though? I, I don't know. Why would Anita want to wear something like that? <laughs> Damn. God's oh, it's such a, a gender stereotype for women to wear earrings. I, really, the mm -hmm. fact that she wears makeup and lipstick at all, I think, means she's conforming <laughs> to society's ideals of women, and she should probably just fucking kill herself. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez, mom. I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying, if we if we judge her based on how she judges video games, I think she should be deleted as well. Well, I agree. She uses way too much lipstick. Oh, way too fucking much. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> It sure is. Oh well. Any amount of lipstick at all is too much. What I'm gonna get? Yeah. I'm gonna oh, get damn. fucking red red paint on my cock. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe that shit off. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, folks in the chat, how's it going? You're in for a very special Kino episode. Uh, I guess we'll get started soon. I'm going to start the recording on my end, and the other recording I gotta do on Discord. 
How it works here, folks, is we are recording our Is It Kino movie review podcast that goes on iTunes, uh, Podbean, MonkeyJones.tv, and so many other places where you find your favorite podcast. So for the most part, we are going to ignore the chat while we do the show. But don't worry, as soon as we finish our movie review, we'll come back, hang out with you guys, catch up on uh, donations, and answer any chat questions. It's going to be a fun hour or hour and a half or whatever. But as soon as we finish, oh, yeah. I'm going to go hang out with some oh, goats. Yeah. So, uh-huh. so I, I, I truly can't wait. I'd rather hang out with goats than these two guys any day. <laughs> God what, what do you get from the goats? Uh, they the eat, goats, they eat carrots out of my hands, and I feel like I'm actually contributing <laughs> something positive to the world. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Well, what will happen to these goats, man? Farm animals aren't usually treated well. What are you doing, monkey? Hmm. No, these oh, are, are they? Great. Oh, okay. Why would you be mean to yeah. a goat? They, they won't get slaughtered. Which goat is the goat? <laughs> Which is the goat goat? Oh, sounds like you guys are way loud. All right. Know. Turn me down, Poppy. Sure. Wait, well, actually, I think I'll, I'll turn down my game. No, no, uh, just let me take care of it. I got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm quiet compared to the others. Thank God somebody is paying attention, sheep. Everybody else <laughs> lied and said we all sound the same. <laughs> Someone said no audio. Why am I hearing you? Because I'm listening to it on my laptop. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right, perfect. all right. <laughs> Starting my recording's over. And we're going to get started, okay. folks. You boys ready for some Kino? Yeah, let's okay. do it. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to your favorite movie review podcast, Is It Kino? I am Monkey Jones, joined as always by E. Rich McCoy and Florian Himsel. Now, E. Rich, this is a very special episode because of you, so please do us all the honors and explain what movie are we reviewing today and why exactly are we discussing it? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we did an Oscar review show where we thought we were going to uh, determine who was the most Kino of the three of us. And as I suspected, I won um, that competition. I am obviously of course. the best, the best uh, host of the Kino. Um, <laughs> so in order to prove that I am the most Kino, I made those two idiots that I have to unfortunately share the stage with, uh, <laughs> Monkey Jeez. Jones... And Florian Hemsel. I made them watch an actually good movie other than the absolute dreck we usually watch. Oh, is Sherlock that what it Watson. was? Damn. Or Holmes and Watson. Uh, no, instead of watching <laughs> that, which I should... Fuck, no, I should... Fuck! I should have <laughs> made you fuckers watch Holmes and Watson. God <laughs> damn it! God damn it! Okay, all right. I already saw it. Instead... Fuck you. Um, instead of actually uh, visiting my revenge ag- against these idiots... I made them watch a movie I actually love, uh, First Reformed. Uh, I did not rewatch the movie. Wait, 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 wait. What What? movie? What movie did you pick for us to watch? First Reformed. Are you kidding me? First, it's called First Reformed. Yeah. Oh no! What did you watch? Oh my god. (laughs) Oh Oh, guys, guys, come on! I I think I fucked up. I think I made a horrible mistake. I I swear to God, I thought you (laughs) said. I don't know how I mixed this up. I thought you said we should watch Medea's Family Funeral. <laughs> because that's the movie I went and saw for this podcast. Did that come out? Yeah, that's out in theaters right now. I had no idea. I saw Fuck. that yesterday. Right. So don't yeah, worry, right. don't worry. I, I think we can still make this work. I'm sure the movies are very similar. <laughs> yeah, you're just, right. We'll, we'll just all talk about the movie that we watched. The two of you can talk will. about First Reformed, and I'll, I'll talk about <laughs> Medea's Family Funeral. <laughs> and maybe we can compare and contrast the films. Oh and, my god, it um, did come out. Shit. Man, I, I'm sorry, Rich. I, I didn't. I thought that's what you told us to watch. I guess the title, oh, titles yeah. are really similar or something. Oh, <laughs> yeah, what, what, what an accidental mix up. Jeez. Yeah, what a horrible mistake. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. All right. <laughs> Matt, what will you do if you're not heavily preached to about the environmental collapse, Mumpkin? Oh, there's plenty do? of preaching in Medea's family funeral, don't you worry. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> They, they, uh, Maria taught me that uh, that a black funeral is very long and that there are lots of speeches given about God, so don't you worry. <laughs> There's lots of mm-hmm. preaching in this mm-hmm. film. Oh, wow, it is exactly the same. Damn. Well, let's do a little bit of comparing and contrasting for this very special Kino episode. How does your film 
begin? Because my film begins with Tyler Perry uh, playing an elderly man with uh, he's a double amputee with his legs missing. And he has uh, to talk whoa. with one of those, uh, you know, how if you smoke a lot and you get a hole in your throat and you have to talk with like a robot voice on your neck. Uh, All right. that, no. That's how he talks. And he tells his granddaughter that he wants to fuck her. That's how my movie begins. <laughs> does your movie what? begin really? similarly? Yeah, yeah. That's that's how <laughs> Benia's family funeral begins. How does your movie begin? Holy yeah. shit. That it was exactly the same, same, yeah. Pretty much the same. Yeah, barely any difference. Um, well, it what? begins with Ernst Toller, the uh, pastor at the First Reformed Church in Snowbridge, New York, writing down his thoughts in a journal, uh, which <laughs> he does throughout a lot of the, the movie. Yeah. Are his thoughts that he wants to fuck his granddaughter? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. Oh, man. Well, these movies already sound identical, I think. <laughs> which one came out first? Because I want to know who ripped off who. <laughs> <laughs> man did you really not see it that was pretty crazy Florian <laughs> is so fucking broke up that Monkey didn't watch the movie well, hey, I, I wanna cause we can't just go through the movie plot by plot you guys tell me what you thought of First Reformed and I'll tell you what I thought of Medea's family funeral well I already explained what I thought about First Reformed Florian did you like this movie yeah, I guess it was alright <laughs> yeah I expected that <laughs> It's just weird how how the entire movie just has this this air of dread over it. Yeah, I, I guess that's what you like, huh? It's just just yeah, man. The movie, the entire world is going to come to a fucking end at some. Yeah, point. very likely. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure the 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 climate change will be absolutely catastrophic. They will we'll all be wrecked. Mm -hmm. Now, Erich, my question is, if climate change <laughs> won't really start its uh, full effects until long after we're dead, why should uh -huh. we care? It doesn't bother us. We're not having uh, because kids. Because the, <laughs> um, <laughs> the actual effects will start to really affect us. Oh, no. Um, California <laughs> will be underwater. Oh, man. I'm so about, sad. How do you feel about immigrants? Oh. <laughs> uh, that's a loaded question, Erich. Yeah, and I want your answer. You need, I want your loaded answer. You're gonna need a little more specific uh, of a question than how do you feel about immigrants? Well, a little bit. We're I a country of immigrants, e. Rich. Oh, jeez, they're, they're from California because they'll all be flooded, I assume. I think uh, well, all around the world. California wants to secede from the union, so soon they will all be immigrants if they come over here. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I think I think California is also geographically speaking splitting off from the United States as well. Yeah, but not very Well, like fast. at the San Andreas Fault, it's going to split in half? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, maybe we'll just have a giant earthquake and they'll just be <laughs> separated completely. Uh, oh, man, that would be cool. If if a shit ton of people die in a California earthquake, does that lower their electoral votes? No. <laughs> That's bullshit. What do you mean a shit ton? Like, like half the is, population dies. Shouldn't they lose is, half of their uh, electoral votes? Is that how you thought that the Electoral College works? It, you thought it was based on population? It kind of is. Is it? That's why Wyoming's yeah. worth like three votes, because nobody lives yeah, there. the population of the state decides on how many electoral yeah. votes they get. It does? Yeah. Oh, weird. That's I why we're, we're, we're waiting size. for the Californian genocide from by earthquake. If it was based on size of the state, then Alaska would have and Texas would have more <laughs> votes than every state yeah. combined. And Canada would have a shit ton of votes. <laughs> They're huge. Oh. <laughs> Canada. All right. Let me tell you guys a little bit about how I felt about Medea's family funeral. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I've seen a few Medea movies in the past. We even I, I told Everich about Boo 2 last, yeah. uh, I think, two years ago, about a year and a half ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but this movie is the first dual black comedy. Because black comedy, there's two different definitions for that. This one meets both. Black comedy in the sense oh. of... It's a Tyler. It's a <laughs> Tyler. Yeah, it's a Tyler Perry <laughs> Medea movie. So it's like an African American black comedy. But it's also is that, a, what it, is that what it says on Wikipedia? A black comedy, black comedy. Uh, it should. I'm, I think I'm gonna go add that right now. Type type type. type. <laughs> that is and then, oh my god, that's amazing. It's also a black comedy in the sense that it deals with very dark subject materials, including. Uh -huh. Uh, getting killed by the police and going to a funeral and dying and all these horrible things. Uh, Damn. This movie, and I'm a guy who loves black comedy, um, mm -hmm. both kinds, <laughs> but, but mostly the ones that, that deal with uh, darkness and depression and death and all those things. I think it's really funny to yeah. joke about people dying. Uh, it's funny uh -huh. to joke about me wanting to die. It's all great. 
But this movie, this Tyler Perry comedy PG-13 movie made me so uncomfortable. (laughs) So uncomfortable with the way it deals with these things. We've seen a lot of movies lately that deal with police brutality and how tense and, and crazy these scenes of a black person getting pulled over in their car can be when you have some asshole cop who is like, oh, hands on the wheel. Oh, no. Now reach into your glove compartment. No, slowly. Don't move. Why'd you take your hands off, off, off the wheel? Like they're just being <laughs> incoherent assholes and like they're going to shoot you if you <laughs> fuck up. But then they're giving mixed signals and shit. Um, I recently saw, of course, um, I mean, there's been like a hundred movies in the last year that has this shit, but one mm-hmm. of the best ones was the movie me and Erich talked about, about the chick with the big tits. What's that movie called? The Hate yeah, You well, Give. Yeah, they, yeah, they I, Hate I, You I Give. Not. Oh yeah, yeah, you were there too. Um, <laughs> this, this Tyler Perry Medea movie has its own version of that Hate You Give scene where the kid gets shot, oh, boy. but yeah. they try to play it for laughs. <laughs> And the way they try to play it for laughs is that the white asshole cop is as over the top and in- angry as humanly possible. Right. And having wow, seen that's amazing. And this isn't even like a black and white issue. It's like a asshole retard cop issue. Because that video of the cop pointing his gun at the white guy in the the hotel hallway when he's drunk and he's making him do like the fucking Ramshambo dance, and then he ends up shooting him. Or you guys seen that Shit. video from like last year? No. Uh, well, Last year? Yeah, it was like some asshole cop pointing a gun at some poor guy in a hallway, and he's telling him to do like a hundred different things, and then he ends what up the shooting hell? him anyway. It is very uncomfortable. But that's essentially Damn. what this scene in the Medea movie was with uh, Medea and her whole family in this car, and and Medea and her friends just keep saying these this stupid shit while the guy is giving a very authentic uh, a reenactment of a crazy cop who was about to murder a person, and oh I, God. I did not enjoy it at all. It was not funny. <laughs> it made me feel sick. Really? Damn. It, Damn, it sounds it, like him entertained right now. It was in very, very poor taste because it was just a reenactment of real life murder events <laughs> with Medea giving her commentary over it. Mm-hmm. It was horrible. So I, guess, so I guess he didn't shoot her then. No, he didn't. Because there is a funeral. So yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because this is at the very (laughs) beginning of the movie, and it's called the Medea family funeral, and she's in this car with her family. I thought for sure the cop was gonna fucking kill somebody. Yeah, that would have been amazing. It was. It was. It's very intense. Oh yeah, yeah. What a missed opportunity. Well. So who died instead? Uh, I, I don't know. We got to go back and forth. I need to hear more about this first reformed <laughs> before I go too deep into the, and, and this is a clusterfuck, uh, clusterfuck of a plot on this Medea movie. So hopefully your movie has a more simple story to explain. All right. Yeah, I, so. I think it's pretty simple. All right. What, what so. do you think? Is, 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 is it very complex? Are there many threads to this story? Uh, not many, no. So Ernst Toller is, uh, is requested to counsel a uh, young man who has just recently married his wife and uh, has fallen into a deep, dark depression. Um, his son... Okay, no. The the pastor's son was killed in the war in Iraq. Um, and the... Wait... I'm reading the fucking... Wait, wait, was he? I thought the pastor's son fell down a well and died. The, the pastor's son was killed in Iraq, and t- the the pastor had told him to go into the war. Now, at at so any point, does the pastor bad. say, Ah, hell no! No, no he does not. Okay. So maybe these movies aren't so similar after all. Mm-hmm. And he, so he's he, pretty well spoke. <laughs> he is brought to counsel this man who has fallen into a deep depression and is going into being a radical environmentalist. So he's going to attempt to like assassinate people and blow shit up uh, to try to stop climate change and like polluters and shit like he's that. He's like the IRA. Yeah. Yes. And he, yes. That, that man is, is so insane. I cannot even yeah. believe he, he the levels of insanity. Well, you're telling me that somebody who believes in climate change is insane in this movie? Sounds red pilled as fuck. Yeah, um, it's pretty weird if you think about it. So, this couple is very, very, like, fractious, and it seems like they're not going to, like, be fractious. together for long. Yeah, but Mary, who is played by Amanda Seyfried, I believe we've Ooh. talked about her on, on the show before. Yeah, we've talked about wanting to fuck her before. Yes, yes, she is pregnant. <laughs> Mama uh, Mia. She wants to get an abortion. Who was she playing she's... before? 
She played Mamma Mia. Yeah, well, <laughs> she was yeah. She, she was. She Mama played. Mia. She played daughter Mia in the first one, and then Mamma Mia in the second one, where Meryl Streep <laughs> played dead grandma Mia. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right. So she, she wants to. I'm sorry. The husband wants her to get an abortion because he says the world is going to come to an end essentially because of all this climate bullshit happening and to bring a child into that world is a inherently bad thing to do yeah so honestly that that kid's problem. better off not existing at all than existing in a world where uh china is propelling this hoax upon all of us right right <laughs> so oh, no. I'm, I'm just going to real quick wrap up that uh little plot fragment there um and then you can talk about Medea a little bit more. <laughs> of um, course. They find a suicide vest in his in his garage. Oh, going then... fast. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, a suicide vest? Yes. Can I buy uh, like this a, at Walmart? Vest. What is it? Oh. It's an explosive vest. I thought it was like a like you put on like a sweater vest and it kills you. <laughs> yeah, it just has a knife in it. I, yeah, I was hoping I could purchase one. That'd be great. It's like the suicide booth in uh Futurama. Well, because you can, it's so easy to buy like an exit tank where you buy what a helium tank and a gas mask and you hook it up with a pipe. Yep. I was hoping if there was uh, something similar, but it was just a, an article of clothing you could wear that would kill you. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, instant kill, All right. man. So to stop this environmental terrorist from using it, uh, the pastor takes it and puts it in his house. Uh, they go out to look for uh, the, the dude, and he has gone out and killed himself. So oh. now, monkey. Tell, tell us more about <laughs> well, speaking of people dying let me uh -huh. let me set up the intricate plot of this film and it's very confusing because uh most of the story revolves around characters that have never appeared in a medea movie before as far as i know okay it's introduced that medea has an extended family of characters who she's going to visit for i think an anniversary party um i don't remember really any of the characters names except for aj so we'll we'll base mm -hmm. all the character relationships off of aj try to follow me here because it's very okay. very difficult all right aj is married to his wife aj's wife aj uh -huh. has a little brother named aj's little brother and right. aj's little brother is engaged to be married to aj's little brother's fiance yeah, that's pretty complex, man. I, I tell me about follow. tell me about AJ's little brother's fiance's family. Uh, they're not they're not in this yet. Damn it! Oh. So I want you to just keep adding things to that. Well, well, here we go. <laughs> this is when it's going to start getting complicated. Now, AJ and uh, AJ's little brother have parents, uh, and it's their anniversary, and okay. they're like seventy years old, and it's like this is going to be their anniversary party. That's why everybody's coming to the same house for this. But since everybody's coming from out of town. Uh, AJ and and uh, his little brother's fiance decide they're going to to fly in together, but really they're having an affair, boys, because we mm -hmm. cut to a hotel room where AJ and AJ's little brother's fiance are fucking in a bed. So AJ's Jeez, cheating on wow. his wife, and AJ's little brother's fiance is cheating on him. And mm -hmm. and he's betraying his little brother. So already it's a mess. But then, yeah. but then, AJ, while in this hotel room, hears through the wall the sound of his father, and he's confused. So he goes and checks it out, and his father is cheating on his mother with wow. a young family friend who I thought might have been related in some way, but no, it's just this hot 28-year-old who just hangs out at their family's house and is also, uh, she's in a dominatrix uh, uh, outfit and she was yeah. fucking the dad, uh, AJ's dad, even though it's his anniversary party that day with his uh, longtime wife. But evidently he was so excited by this dominatrix cheating that he dies of a heart attack in the bed. <laughs> And that's when Medea and Tyler Perry and their whole family walk into the hotel because they happen to be staying at this same hotel for this anniversary party. And, uh, and they, catch, they catch the whole thing happening. And it's very important to the plot that AJ's dead father, who is dead, uh, has a large erection, even in death. And, and this erection <laughs> wow. never goes away, as we'll find out later on in the movie. 
That's awesome. That's yeah. amazing. This all of this information is revealed within three minutes, and I took it took me what? the whole movie to piece it together. I had no idea what was happening. <laughs> wow. <laughs> is, is it is it like a, a murder mystery where you just learn more pieces? Piece no, it's piece. like we we just introduced you to ten new characters. And now figure out the relationships, and also now they're all cheating on each other. And I'm like, Wha right. what? What's happening? <laughs> Are you saying that they weren't calling each other H.A.'s brother and stuff? <laughs> no, Damn. they weren't. Wow. Uh, I could have pulled up Wikipedia, but I want to I wanna give an authentic <laughs> review from my memory. I can imagine this, watching this movie is like you start to put a puzzle together. You get like one of the corners and then none of the other pieces in the puzzle are anything <laughs> like what you were just putting together. So you have to keep that in mind and then work on this entirely different puzzle. Yeah. Why are you trying to do that? Beautiful. So the drama of the film is that Medea and her infinite wisdom figures out that everybody is cheating on everybody and all the betrayals, but she doesn't mm -hmm. want to ruin the, the widow's uh, life. So she wants her and her friends to keep it a secret from the widow that her husband died cheating on her with their close family friend. And mm -hmm. uh, many problems arise from that. Like when they send Medea to the funeral home to dress the, the corpse, um, the, the coffin, the casket, the lid will not stay closed because the dead man's <laughs> erection keeps pushing it up. Good Lord. So there's there's a five minute sequence where Medea is aggressively pushing down the lid of this coffin, but the dead man's erection keeps opening it back up. And this goes on for so long that I almost vomited. <laughs> how does that even make sense? Monkey, monkey, monkey how many people were in the happen? How many people were in the theater with you, and how were they reacting to the this? The theater was half full. I remember walking uh -huh. in and seeing a group of four very elderly white women, and I sat close to them because I wanted to hear their responses. And they were right. probably laughing harder than anybody else. The entire theater was uh, abruptious, uh, if that's a word, with laughter. The entire the entire time, yeah, uproarious with laughter. They uh, they absolutely uh, loved uh, every uproarious. second. Wow. Yeah. So that that's what's going on in my movie. What's the plot of your movie? What's going on? <laughs> All right. So um, the wife, the pregnant wife of this man now repeatedly seeks out uh, Ernst Toller for comfort um, in the wake of her husband's suicide. Man, um, you, you're going way too fast. Mumkey's going to have explained his movie. No, 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 no. No, no wait, I'm you're going to have to explain your movie, and then Mumkey's going to take an hour to explain no, his. No, no, don't worry. There's Florian, not much more I to explain even, than mine. I haven't <laughs> okay. even talked about the mega church yet, Florian. Um, oh, the mega and them. in a scene where uh, the pastor and Amanda Seyfried almost have sex, or do they have sex? No, they just lay upon each other. They it's just lay weird. upon each other. And, and the and pastor is through... Ethan Hawke, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And they float through like time and space, and it's basically this crazy scene where they start floating and shit. Yeah, and then right, they Lauren. see all kinds of environmental destruction happening in the background. Yeah. From some oh my god, this movie reason. sounds like a fucking circle jerk. All this environmental <laughs> this bullshit. It's great. Yeah. I love it so much. Um, Man, oh, you should have seen the funeral. It was beautiful. They, he, he insisted that they would have this funeral in front of some kind of toxic contamination site where there yeah. were like amazing shipwrecks. Like so many shipwrecks, and it was just really picturesque. And then they were singing. Was it a super fun site? <laughs> super fun? <laughs> super fun. I don't know. Well, yeah, this is worth looking <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah, definitely. You need to know. <laughs> Basically, just where the EPA puts a bunch of toxic, hazardous chemicals and shit. Okay. Is the um, EPA real? <laughs> Wait, so what's the up with this megachurch? Why is the megachurch so important? All right, so while all this shit is happening, the megachurch is basically trying to come into his very small parish and take over his ceremonies. They're, they're doing like the, what, 100th anniversary of the, oh, 250th anniversary of the church that he's- Of Jesus. Uh, <laughs> church. <laughs> um, I, I was trying to figure out whether, whether it was a church of Jesus. It's first reformed church. But okay. I don't know what that even fucking means within what, uh, I guess, Roman Catholic. Well, either way, they were apparently shepherding slaves that, that were being liberated. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I guess it was very relevant. Wait, did they say it was 100 years old? No, it's 250 old years old. Yeah, it's that 250 makes more years sense. old. Yeah, yeah. So a mega church is trying to like take over this ceremony. He's supposed to be the, the, the pastor is supposed to be the one who's heading it up, but a 
other pastor played by Cedric the Entertainer um, is kind of coming in and trying to take it over. And the mega church is kind of attempting to be the one in, in charge of this thing. So you've not only got the uh, environmental deal here, but also like the big business concerns that this other mega church is dealing with are also taking a toll on uh, this pastor's life. E. Rich, if you hadn't seen either of these movies and somebody yeah. explained the plot of Medea's family funeral and the plot of First right. Reformed and said, E. Rich, which movie, which of these movies do you think Cedric the Entertainer is in? Which one would you have guessed? <laughs> I would definitely have said Medea's. <laughs> yeah, that's really <laughs> funny. What is the movie even called? Medea's what? Medea's family funeral. It's rumored to family. be the final Medea film. That's not true. In 20 years, there's going to be a gritty <laughs> Medea reboot. Oh, boy. The character should be dead by then. She's so old. She's going to come back to life or some shit. Oh, no. All right. Should we should Tell we go back Medea. to my movie, or do you have uh, more on this mega church point? Uh, yeah, let's, let's go back to yours. Uh, so they're really trying to – Medea wants to keep this sec uh, secret from the widow. So there's a, I think, a 45-minute long scene – where Medea's friends keep trying to tell the widow, oh, yeah, he had a ball gag in his mouth and he died with a huge erection. <laughs> and every time they try to say this, and they're in a hospital, and when this, like the woman just found out her husband died like a second ago, and now this is happening. Um, Medea keeps slapping them really hard on the face, and she knocks her brother's teeth out, and uh, they put prosthetic gums over Tyler Perry's teeth. So like you can see the outline of his teeth in his mouth, but with like just red shit on top of it, and it looked really bad and Jesus gross. Um, she also punches <laughs> wow. her uh, eighty-year-old little tiny friend in the face like ten times, and uh, the little friend calls her the N-word a couple times. And, it's, uh, <laughs> and uh, I guess uh, in PG-13 movies, you can get away with saying the N-word all you want if you're black. Is that true? I thought that would be like an automatic R rating. Hell no. I don't know. I you're assume black, they just they say that. Yeah, they just say that in every sentence. Yeah, I don't you know you how. You would think for being like the worst word, you you couldn't just say it willy nilly in a PG thirteen movie. There were there were four year old <laughs> children in my audience. They don't want to hear that. It's not the worst word when they say it, but if if the kids would say, it, that would be a problem. Hmm. Mm, <laughs> problematic. <laughs> this. Well, um. Now, guys, I I have a confession to make. So um, you didn't actually see. <laughs> what you think i'm making these scenes it. up you think i <laughs> no 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 it sounds exactly right no so <laughs> eventually they get to the funeral and it's like a long montage of the funeral going on for eight hours and we see the limo uh -huh. or not the limo driver but the uh what's the name of the the dead guy car that they drive cadaver car a hearse the, the hearse, hearse yep. and we see him like checking his watch like oh where the fuck are they oh it's a oh it's a black funeral it's supposed to go long <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, we have not <laughs> yet seen all of the secrets be revealed. I'm just waiting any moment now. Medea is going to reveal that the husband was unfaithful and all, all uh -huh. the, the kids are cheating with each other and all this shit. But then, uh, I, I got really bored and I left the theater and I don't know how it ends. <laughs> Damn. So, so oh, that's yeah. why well, that's why there wasn't more to explain. We're missing out on this great narrative. I saw like oh, three fourths of the movie, and I hated <laughs> it so much because I'm leaving uh, out hours of horrible jokes that made me feel sick <laughs> to my stomach. That I I thought you know I'm seeing this as a joke to piss off Erich because I'm not gonna watch yeah. his his <laughs> stupid liberal you did movie this to yourself. Yeah. Like, I I I owe nothing to anybody here. I'm literally <laughs> wasting my own life and making myself sad for no reason. I'm just going to leave. Uh, wow. So then I went home. <laughs> the end. Didn't you Monkey. feel more sad for being a quitter? No, I feel happy that Monkey. I didn't watch the rest of that movie. <laughs> Monkey, would you like to guess how many Tyler Perry Medea movies there are? Twelve. Seven. Oh, Monkey's closest. It's eleven. Mm, <laughs> damn it. Medea's and, Family Funeral would be the 11th movie. Does that count wow. the animated Medea movie that came out five years ago? Wait, what? <laughs> There's an animated Medea movie that's rated PG because it's for the kids. Wow. Do you know what it was called? Uh, just search Medea cartoon. <laughs> but I'll say, maybe this movie does end with Medea oh, dying, it, and that's that, why it's that the final count. one. Uh, I don't. Medea's Tough Love is counted. No, okay. The payoff would have been huge. Yeah, oh, I, I don't know if Medea dies at the end or not, or not, because I didn't watch it to the end. 
So Damn. this very well could be well, the official final movie unless she comes back Wikipedia as a ghost. Wikipedia can't even tell me. Wikipedia can't even tell me. The plot because does, there's no plot description on Wikipedia. It just says, a joyous family reunion becomes a hilarious nightmare as Medea and the crew travel to Backwoods, Georgia, where they find themselves unexpectedly planning a funeral that might unveil unsavory family secrets. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, that's it. <laughs> I don't know why the word hilariously was used to describe that plot because it was <laughs> yeah. certainly not funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to wrap up my first Reformed uh, okay. summary here real quick. Okay. Um, so alongside this megachurch dude who's uh, in charge, played by Cedric the Entertainer, there's also a industrialist played by uh, 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 Michael Gaston uh, named Edward Balk in the movie. And he is uh, one of these polluting, uh, awful people who doesn't want uh, Ernst Toller, the pastor, to speak up about these environmental concerns that he was going to do at the uh at the big 250 year anniversary thing um so the pastor is conflicted he has to stew on what it means to be a christian when you're uh allowing all of this crazy environmental shit to be happening and he goes to blow up the entire uh 250th reunion thing taking that suicide vest that uh the environmental terrorist had he goes to go do that. The woman gets into his place, hugs him, and he uh, he doesn't do it. And he blows up with her. You, you're forgetting the part where he where he puts what does he put some spikes into his his actual vest. So I guess he actually yeah, does have right. that suicide vest that Mumpkin wanted. Oh, awesome! Right, right. And, well, and does he drink bleach too? I think he. he yeah, would, he almost oh, drinks bleach. Oh my god, he goes he, full Amanda to Todd. Bleach. And yeah. then he, um, he hugs her while he's got spikes in his west ah, that are stabbing him. It's yeah. bizarre. What the fuck? But, it, so here's he, the thing. <laughs> here's the thing about the end of this movie. He has locked every single door around him so that nobody can stop him. But she is somehow able to get into his place. Which has led many people to think, oh, this is some kind of, like, crazy twist ending that that didn't really happen. Like, that, that is him trying to make a better ending for himself before he actually goes to do this thing. Um, so I think there's some up in the air thing, how she was able to get through to that. It's a, a truly <laughs> Nolan-esque ambiguous ending, just like yeah, the ending yeah. of Medea's family funeral, because we don't know oh, how no. it ends, because we didn't yeah, watch yeah, that right. long. Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody yeah, knows. I don't know if anybody's made it to the end of this movie. <laughs> does he blow himself up or not? Damn. <laughs> For all you know, every person in the theater died because the movie was that bad, and they wouldn't <laughs> watch the rest of it. So oh, yeah, Florian, we have blown himself up. Florian, we know that Erich loves this movie. I need you to give me the most red pilled, honest review. Is this movie even worth watching? Should I watch it, even though I was supposed to anyway? I I think you might actually like it. Whoa! There's this joke me and Erich have. Where we say that this that that we have this genre of ranting hobos. <laughs> Erich, would you say that this is a ranting hobo movie? I think it would be. It's Wait, about what, a what ranting, does ranting hobo, hobo who... mean. It means that there's a man who has nothing left to lose, and he just goes more and more insane over the the time of the movie, and he's just talking to the audience the entire time. That sounds like my yeah. life in the last three months. <laughs> It'll be this perfect. is the first. I think it's the first ranting hobo movie where a ranting hobo has spread his uh, disease to somebody else, and uh -oh. then the other person <laughs> becomes the ranting hobo. Oh shit! I didn't even see it that way because he starts off so well spoken, but then he, he yeah. just gets more and more insane as he as he has met this this eco terrorist. Oh so man! Does oh, his, he also does his vocabulary. Well. Oh, he has cancer. Yeah. Does his vocabulary degrade to the point where he says, "Oh hell no!" Nah. <laughs> oh no! I he never says that. <laughs> That's too I'm bad. sure you, it would be more like a, a quote about hell from the Bible or something. Hmm. Oh hell no! Nah. <laughs> It was cast upon a, a, a sea of flames. <laughs> so I guess it's up for the, the audience listening at home to decide which movie was more Kino, First Reformed yeah. or Medea's Family Funeral. We should put uh, this up to a vote, and then whichever wins will be my official listed favorite movie. Of, of all time? <laughs> of all time. Oh, boy. I think I know who's going to win, you rich. Yeah, let's make a Twitter poll. I wonder who will win. And I'll post a straw poll in the description of the YouTube upload of this podcast, and uh -huh. we'll, we'll let them decide which of these movies so, is your favorite. 
listeners, which is my favorite movie, First Reformed or Medea's Family Funeral? The, the Medea movie you haven't seen and that I couldn't stand to finish. Uh, <laughs> the finest movie of all time. Well, I guess I better see this Medea movie. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you really don't need to. Florian, so, watch the end of it, and then between the two of you, you will have seen it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can tell me how it ends, because I told you how it begins in, in middles. Now, Florian, the, the real question I have is, will this play in Austria? I don't think so, man. <laughs> they don't bring all black movies to Austria? I wonder why. I was going to say, why do you think that, Florian? Why would they not release this movie in Austria? In Austria, yeah. Well, for some reason, they they only bring the absolute best movies in English. I don't know. They, they they're yeah, so Medea. selective. You're not supporting your case here. It sounds like they <laughs> they're, should. They're be not bringing, bringing their best movies. <laughs> they're bringing. <laughs> they're bringing drugs, crime, they're rapists, <laughs> and some I assume are good movies. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I wonder what it would be called in German. Hmm. Um, uh, hmm. Medea's Das Juden. <laughs> oh, damn it. That's the only German I know. <laughs> you know, Monkey, I want to write a movie. It's Medea's uh, Anne Frank house <laughs> movie. She <laughs> time travels back and has to be in the Anne Frank house with them. I mean, why not just not make be- it a, a Medea movie where she goes back in time and replaces Harriet Tubman? <laughs> and, okay. and, and like Medea's also- running the Underground Railroad helping slaves escape. <laughs> That's I, I just like the idea of Medea being very loud and them trying to like keep <laughs> like quieting Medea, her. Be quiet! Time. The Nazis are outside. Medea, why are you making pizza? <laughs> we need to be quiet. <laughs> oh hell no! You don't tell me what when to make my pizza, uh, child man. You crazy? You fool? Man, I That's what she would that say. Then that would be really epic. Fuck. Uh, Florian, let me <laughs> ask you. Comp. Let me ask you from your perspective: Is the character of Medea? portrayed and written by a black man is it a racist portrayal <laughs> is Medea doing more harm than good to the black community well it's obvious that it's in fact a sexist portrayal huh well yeah that too oh damn <laughs> i mean yeah it's both oh no well, i, I honestly on. believe Medea. these Medea movies are doing more harm than good to the perception or th- or whatever of uh the african-american experience in america it's like white people are going to laugh at the stereotype black people are going to i guess laugh at (laughs) uh, their their mammy i don't know but Mm -hmm. it's uh (laughs) we're not like oh yeah we're laughing with this stereotype we're laughing at it because i guess we think that it's accurate well i think the the worst part is tyler perry should know better but he (laughs) apparently doesn't or knows that he'll make money off it so he knows he'll make a shit ton of money Man, I've never seen a Medea movie. The only thing I've seen that's comparable is is Norbit. Is, is it anything like Norbit? It's a little bit like Norbit, yes. Oh. Where you have, yeah, the same guy playing multiple characters, and, well, that, and they're all offensive and horrible. Well, that movie was epic, so I assume this movie was Norbit epic. was epic! Norbit is great. Did you like the scene when the, the two children are taking a shit side by side holding hands? <laughs> I don't remember wow. that, but it's the very beginning great. of the movie. Oh no. They have a joke where a young boy and girl are taking a shit side by side holding hands. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it made me uncomfortable when I was 13. <laughs> well, it's the only thing how it would make you uncomfortable now. <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to revisit the film to find out. <laughs> Damn. I will say, Man, I... if I'm going to say one nice thing about this Medea movie, is that Tyler Perry does do a, I'd say he, he must be doing a good job with acting because he has one character that he's just playing himself, like it's just normal Tyler Perry and he's uh, Medea's uh, grandson or something. And then he has mm-hmm. all the wacky Medea, Medea's brother, and uh, the guy who's a double amputee. So to see Tyler Perry be so calm and composed and normal and then also mm-hmm. see him being the most wacky, offensive, horrible <laughs> shit ever... Uh, line by line back and forth he's clearly got some acting talent he was i mean he was good in uh, gone girl and and all these things i don't know why he lowers himself to this medea standard when he could be making actual comedy films mm-hmm. oh yeah maybe he could play that guy from split huh he could just uh-huh. all of the personalities. <laughs> no i think the prosthetics really 
carry most of the the other characters. I don't. You think know he what would split. make this movie so much, or all of these movies, so much better is if the camera followed Tyler Perry changing into all these different characters <laughs> as they were doing it. Like that would actually be impressive, and I could actually like give Tyler Perry some credit. But like that's not what they do. Like, hey, Rich, I don't know if you know how movies are made, but they don't record it in sequence. He doesn't record a line as himself and then put on the Medea and say a line and then go back to himself and say a line. Pretty yeah, sure when he's in the Medea costume, they record all the Medea lines. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> That'd be a horrible that. waste of fucking time. <laughs> How do they do it? Do they have other actors play the other characters in this time? Yeah, like so they'll they'll do the really cheap trick where like you'll just see Medea's shoulder while Tyler Perry mm. is talking, so it's like somebody else Ooh, right. wearing the shirt or the dress. <laughs> but sometimes they'll do the impressive shot where in? they'll do have like they'll have all three of his characters in the same frame at the same time, but obviously the camera's not moving. Because it's like a mm -hmm. Back to the Future 2 uh, dinner what scene. What a coincidence. Back to the Future 2, they actually had the camera moving when you had Marty McFly as three different characters, which was super fucking impressive. And if you watch the behind-the-scenes documentary of how they did that, it took, like, yeah. days to get that one 20-second shot. And while they were oh, doing no. it, there was an earthquake in California. So they panicked because <laughs> it's like if anything on this table moves even a quarter of an inch, we have to start all over it, it's so right. impressive that they pulled it off it looks so good they, they, had, they didn't oh have gosh. to do that there's no reason why that shot of all of the marty's eating dinner together that could have just been <laughs> a still shot but they said let's right. make this really hard and have the camera panning around the room <laughs> just because we're fucking artists they never attempt anything like that in this medea movie because it's not fucking art it's a cash grab for the dumbest <laughs> yeah. people in america to give their money to and i guess i'm sucker number one <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that what make that's what makes it not art is because they didn't use an exorbitant amount of effort for a single scene. Yeah, I would say nah. so. So monkey, what you're saying is a movie you didn't want to see, didn't need to see. <laughs> uh, there, there was no purpose to you seeing it, and yet you saw it anyway. I'm gonna say. I'm always morbidly curious to see these Medea movies. So part uh -huh. of me wanted to see it, but I was right. hoping it would not be. It's the kind of bad where it's not even entertainingly bad. It was, I, I want to kill myself bad. <laughs> so right. I, I oh, had damn. to leave the theater for my own safety. <laughs> oh, no. It's too dangerous. Yeah. Damn. So, Florian, would you recommend First Reformed? No, 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 no. That's not how it's going to uh, Oh, Mumpy, no. You ask Florian whether he'd recommend Tyler Perry's, Medea's uh, okay. family Florian, General. would you recommend Tyler Perry's Medea's colon comma uh, Medea uh, uh, <laughs> hypercolon <laughs> uh, family funeral <laughs> question mark? Oh yeah, I, I I think the scene with the the boner in the casket sounds amazing. I I can't wait to see it. I'm I'm glad Evich made me see his favorite movie of all time. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's pretty good. <laughs> Okay. Now Irish. ask me if I want. Yeah, to yeah. Would you recommend Medea's whatever? Um, I absolutely would. If it gave Monkey that much uh, dread, and actually, it sounds like you got as much dread out of Tyler Perry's <laughs> Medea's uh, funeral <laughs> family, whatever, uh, than the main character of First Reformed got uh, when he realized the world was fucked. So uh, yeah, yeah, I think I our movies would. gave all of us existential dread. You about right. dying <laughs> from climate change. Me about dying and having Medea show up to my funeral. Right, right. We're and both Monkey, terrified. Would you now. recommend First Reformed? <laughs> no, it sounds like a fucking lame circle jerk. And I'm like, oh, my climate change. Oh, mm -hmm. oh yeah, okay. man, he was gonna blow himself up, but then it didn't happen. Ah, I want to know what happens. I wish climate change would just hurry the fuck up, and we would be in Mad Max world in like ten years. For real. Yeah, I, I'm so sick of I hearing mean, about it. Uh, just happen already. <laughs> Come yeah, on. I agree. I don't. I don't get this point of of trying to stop climate change when it would be clearly so much more entertaining to just let it happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just let us all die. I mean, I'm gonna die anyway, so I'm not gonna live that long. Yeah, so your pizza diet well, is gonna give you another four years on this earth. Well, what I thought you guys were saying was that you don't like the in between times. You don't like the uh, getting to Mad Max world. You want to be in Mad Max world now. Yeah, like, exactly. I'm so sick of. Fun. I'm so sick of yeah. all the fear mongering and the stress. Like, just bring it on, baby. Let's go. <laughs> right. right. <laughs>
The anticipation's wanna... killing me. It's about the. I it's wanna... not about the journey. It's about the destination. That's the saying, right? I want to choke people out for a canteen of water. Fuck uh, yeah. Like for another two days. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a lizard, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nobody is works. stopping you from eating a lizard, Florian. Yeah, you right. Just go do that. I can't eat a lizard. I need a, a big desert where that's where where lizards live okay they, <laughs> they need a lot of area where they can sun themselves there's no deserts in austria no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, i think i know a couple of camps in austria that might be deserted oh boy yeah you wish now they they're very memorialized uh, uh, they're, they're constantly open still uh memorialized in in memory of the people who proudly opened and operated it I imagine. You bastard. <laughs> Boys, do we have anything else to say for this very special episode of Kino other than we'll see you next week with, uh, with Captain Marvel? Is that next week? or? I think yeah, it, it will be. Uh, wow. It's, it, I right. actually get to see it on the 7th. So. Oh, my God. Oh. Wait, it's coming out yeah. on the 7th? Is that Thursday? I guess so. I, I think that's when I'm seeing it, too, is Thursday night. Wow, so I don't actually Shit. have to wait longer than you. That's crazy. Yeah, we might be here, what, Friday or Saturday with a little bit of Miss Marvel? Yeah, I got some Miss Marvel. Oh my god. Wait, Miss Marvel? There's Cap also a movie called Cold Pursuit. Should I watch that? Probably no, no. Nah, I think Liam but Neeson, it's, it's, Liam Neeson yeah. is a racist. You should not support his films. Yeah. Oh, I saw that's why you'd want to watch it. I thought you wanted <laughs> to forgive him. <laughs> no, never forgive, <laughs> never forget. That's the motto. That monkey, why must you always change your mind so fast? <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought Eridge is right. I think Liam Neeson is a racist <laughs> and he's irredeemable, and we should just <laughs> we should never respect or or anything. Yeah, well, what's your opinion on this Eridge, huh? On on this Liam Neeson thing? What's my opinion? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the initial thing he said, like as long as he says, yeah, that was incredibly shitty for me to have uh, thought that way and uh, wanted to go out and do that. That was fine. All of the stuff afterwards is not. Wait, what happened afterwards? Huh? I think basically people started to call him on it and he doubled down on a lot of shit. Well, oh, <laughs> did he? Because to me, it seemed like he never really regretted being racist. He just regretted seeking revenge for for the the rape. But the thing is that he didn't know who, who committed it. So he just see, he just sought just revenge against after black the people. First... <laughs> right. Yeah, he just, he just wanted to, to kill a black man. That was bizarre. <laughs> and then he, he, the moral of his story was don't seek revenge. Yeah, maybe maybe don't generalize all black men. Well, you seek revenge. He, he, obviously, <laughs> but it was 30 years ago and he's apologized for it. If we are we going to judge Marky Mark for when he was 17 <laughs> and he blinded a Vietnamese man? Uh, are we, yes. Can we move past <laughs> no. these things as a society and say, you know what, Marky Mark, you make pain and gain is so good, you could be as <laughs> racist and violent as you want. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that, that was pretty good, huh? Yeah, he, he called them Vietnamese fucking shits. So, or, so what did? No, no, not no, no, monkey, not even Vietnamese fucking shits, Vietnam fucking shits. <laughs> the entire yeah. country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, so I guess the next episode will be Captain Marvel then. Erich, when are you going to have time to see this and Kino it? Uh, probably Friday night. Can't, I mean, can't you take the girls in your class out on a field trip? Isn't this like <laughs> culturally relevant enough for school? No. I mean, no. considering the time zones, I don't even know if, if, if it, if it'll be the Thursday, if you see it in the evening, then I guess, I guess I'd get up and then I'd review it. Actually, too. it's possible I could do Thursday night. Well, but then here's I the be thing. Able to review it until Friday night. Uh, Florian lives six hours in the future, so he's gonna see it before it's even available for us to see it. So he could spoil right. the whole thing for America. Oh my God! Uh -huh. You motherfucker! I'll hack into your mainframe and I'll I'll just put the the ending of the movie up. Oh Man. no! Oh, now I know how Captain Marvel ends. Oh God! <laughs> Don't do it, Florian. How dare you? <laughs> So I, so, anyways, what what did Liam Neeson double down on? I'm, I'm really curious now. I'm sorry, I'm I must Oh know. my god, I don't remember. I think a lot of people were saying like that's still bad what you did. And oh, was, I, well, of course it's fucking bad. That's why he apologized for it. But but you said he doubled down. Come on, what's he I, saying? I he doubled remember. down I, on his I'm apology, probably. Away. I'm too far <laughs> away from it. Oh no. All we right. We'll never know. All right. Four is a kino. I've been Monkey Jones. Boys, where can people find you online? 
You can find me at E R I C H K I N O, E Rich Kino on Twitter and my YouTube channel, E Rich. Just find me on there. Lots and, of high energy find... for the end of this podcast. <laughs> yeah. I'm and find fired. me on YouTube. Check out Game Squid on YouTube, everyone. Hey. Hey, thanks for tuning in to this very special Oscars Award episode for uh, E Rich here. I'm uh, E Rich, are you glad that you, you won the Oscar <laughs> pool and you finally got us to watch this movie? I'm so happy right now, guys. <laughs> I wonder if I should it have was, watched the movie as well. <laughs> yeah, well all three of us reviewed something else. God damn it, if Florian had watched something else. <laughs> <laughs> you watched <laughs> Butterfly Effect 2? <too? laughs> three. <laughs> yeah. saw two. Uh, okay, see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye. Alrighty, that's a wrap, folks. Another Kino in the all books. Right. Another Kino the in the books. Man, I actually did order a pizza, so we will be here soon. <laughs> it's been like an hour. Yeah. How long does it take? It says 50 minutes. Now, I don't what... know. I ordered in, in the middle of it. Did so you get Bacon we'll Mania see. again? I did. God damn it. With the fucking corn. <laughs> God damn yeah. corn on a pizza. I fucking hate Austria. Dude, it's only because I specifically request the corn. <laughs> it shouldn't even be an option. Here, if you requ- if I went to Domino's and said, "Hey, can you put corn on my pizza?" They say, "We don't have corn in this building. It's a pizza place." I mean, Fucking I bet they stupid. have corn. You should try it. In Iowa, where ninety percent of the world's corn comes from, they do not put corn on pizza. Uh, okay, so so how much would someone have to donate in in the super chance to to get you to eat a corn pizza? Uh, uh just send me a corn pizza and I'll eat it. I don't need money to oh. eat it. Oh wow! What? what so I do I make a cheese pizza and then just dump a can of corn on it and then eat it? Do I, I heat the corn up on the stove first or what? I'm not sure actually. I don't know how they do it. it sounds <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> oh no! Or do I get a frozen pizza, put corn on it, and then bake the pizza with the corn on it? So then it's oh, all dried I mean, out you, and you, gross. You, you definitely want to preheat the corn in that case. Well, How baked is this corn, Florian? Yeah, like, do they dump it on after the pizza is cooked? Man, well, it's not very baked, I guess, so maybe it wasn't pre-cooked. Yeah. Is the corn, like, warm? Is it juicy? Yeah, of course it's warm. Yeah, it's, it's good corn. Okay, so it sounds like they, they heated it up on the stove and then dumped it on the pizza after the pizza was finished. Because <laughs> it would dry out in the oven. I don't know. Would it? Hmm. Yeah, it would dry out like fuck. Like fucking shit. <laughs> I mean, you bake corn normally, don't you? Uh, I don't, I don't know if you would on a pizza. <laughs> Damn. Me so corny. Thanks, Destiny. <laughs> Destiny <laughs> followed she... us over from the Eridge stream. He's been watching Eridge streams all day. Yeah. yeah man. He can't get enough. <laughs> yeah, he just wants more feminist action. Hey, Eridge, if you're falling asleep, you can go to bed. I'm not falling asleep. I am looking at <laughs> box office returns for uh, the past week. Medea came pretty strong, I think. Did it? Wow. Did it win over uh, How to Train Your Dragon? No, it did not. Not whatever <laughs> that. It, it still got twenty-seven million. I'm absolutely certain that the movie was made for about three million dollars. I'm sure. The new Medea <laughs> movie? Yeah. Uh, Those movies cost fucking nothing. Yeah, that sounds about right, based on what I yeah, saw. Sure. They're also made in Tyler Perry's studio, so he probably doesn't even have to pay for fucking anything. It, and he, yeah, he produced it, so mm-hmm. like he's just getting all the profit. <laughs> Yep. Is he somehow related to Adam Sandler? Yeah, I mean, they're, not they're related, cousins. but. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they look exactly sense. alike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but are they friends? I don't know. I doubt it. Their movies are about it's funny. <laughs> I mean, he, he has this, this group of, of friends that, ha- that have similar, similar quality of movies, like Sh- Schneider, what's his name? Rob Schneider. Yeah. He, Zack I mean, Snyder. He, <laughs> yeah, it's excellent. Oh yeah, that Adam Sandler movie 300. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite. All right, let's do a little game of uh, box office predictions. People are estimating that Avengers Endgame will make $300 million opening weekend. E-Rich. God damn. How much do you think Captain Marvel will make opening weekend? Um, I think it'll make $100 million opening weekend. Nope. No? Nope. Too high. What do you think, Florian? That might be too high. Uh, well, Captain Marvel, uh, I don't know. I think it's going to be, hmm, 
Jesus, uh, 30 million. <laughs> oh, that's a little low. <laughs> oh, no. I, I would say a safe 80 million for this one. Well, damn. If it breaks well, 100 I mean, like, million, then maybe we'll have some sort of Wonder Woman effect. But the fucking monkey, if fucking Ant Man the Wasp can make $103 million on its own, <laughs> you're saying Captain Marvel can't? Because Ant Man of the Wasp had, it was right after the best Marvel movie of all time, so people were hyped. And then uh, the trailers were not dog shit. This movie, I've seen uh -huh. no genuine <laughs> hype for it. The trailers make me actively not want to see the movie. Holy uh, shit. I, I think it's going to underperform a little bit, but I, I'll probably be proven wrong, and we'll have like another Black Panther on our hands. Oh damn! <laughs> oh no! I do not think it's going to be a Black Panther size. Uh, I would hope not. <laughs> it, it'll it'll be the, just the female representation that 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 Black Panther did for blacks. It'll be just <laughs> like that. I swear, you just said Black Panther, <laughs> the animal from Star Wars. <laughs> Ant Man that, and the Wasp technically was the first Marvel movie to have a female hero's name in the title, and I mean that yeah. movie did okay. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Was Captain, it really? I'm sorry, Black Panther almost made 300 million its first weekend. <laughs> wow! Worldwide? Yeah. Uh, uh, wow! Really? Yeah. It got 291. Yeah. So, was, was the domestic like the 200 coming? million or what? Domestic total gross was 700 million. No, I mean, like, for the opening weekend, does it say? Um, I think weekly, in this case, means just domestic. I, I was just wondering what the domestic opening weekend was. Because usually it, domestic... If, if it made almost $300 million worldwide, and usually, over half of its gross came from domestic, like, yeah, by usually far... Yeah, usually your first week is about half of what you'll make total uh, in America. Uh, maybe. I mean, it's from what I've seen, yeah, it's, it's, right. it's, uh, there are different multipliers in play that are usually based right, off of right. the, uh, the audience score. Like, mm -hmm. I think Dan Merle said if, and I don't remember what this measurement is called, but like the audience score by, that some company does. If it's an A, then that's usually like a three or a 3.5 multiplier. Uh -huh. And the lower your grade, the lower the multiplier. And it's not just right. like something that he thinks, it's something that has been measured and counted. Yeah. So if the movie is uh, good and audiences like it, then it'll it probably be, make yeah, a shit ton of money. So right. you're saying that people don't watch movies that they think are bad? Damn. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess <laughs> I think it's more of like the power of word of mouth and telling people if they should or shouldn't see something. Right. Or you need to see this. Like, right. yeah, that, that's a completely different. Yeah, but, but that means that no one goes out and sees a movie because it's going to be bad like you did, Mumkey. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure that the audience score for this Medea movie is probably like an A plus. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, uh, Black Panther did better domestically. Than Infinity War did. Yeah, by a lot. It yeah. made like 700 million domestic. Yeah. So it's like up there with Infinity Star Wars: War. The Force Awakens that made I think a billion domestic. Yeah, it's Man. crazy. Man, I want the new Star Wars. I want the new Avengers. I can't wait. What will I do? Yeah, we've still got me and Erich have a bet. What's going to make more money, Endgame or Episode Nine? And I still think well, Endgame is going to win. I said, I said, okay, I said. You said Episode yeah. Nine, yeah. Fuck. You made um, your bet now, lying it, bitch. Yeah, man. that's that's not going to go good for me because <laughs> yeah. Episode Seven. I'm just now thinking of this. Episode Seven made about two billion worldwide. But how much did um, uh, uh, Infinity War make? More than that? About two billion. <laughs> and Episode and Seven well, was episode a phenomenon. Seven was in 2015, yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, but this this one will be good. It'll be the return of the king, you'll see. <laughs> yeah, JJ. My king oh, is back. People yeah. saw the new Star Wars because it was directed by JJ, not because it was the first Star Wars in 13 oh, years. Oh, fuck. I think, <laughs> yeah. I think Infinity War made more. Fuck. Yeah, M made more than Episode Seven. Yeah. And there's well, no... There's no way episode nine is gonna beat episode seven. I'm sorry, you Rich. I think you lost. It really, it really. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You fucked up um, this one. Uh, well, you I'm never sorry. Know. Episode seven made more, just barely. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe, maybe Captain Marvel will be so bad that no one will see Endgame. Well, here's the problem: it's that China <laughs> does not like Star Wars, but they love Marvel, uh -huh. so you don't really stand right, a chance right. worldwide. Yeah. Yeah, damn, and they didn't allow them to, to kill off that black character when he tried to sacrifice himself. So now they'll oh definitely God. not see yeah, it. What a betrayal for the Chinese audience that the Asian character saved the black one. They're like, oh, yeah. no, you're supposed to be on our side. Avatar made almost $3 billion worldwide. 
Yeah, I can't wait for the new Avatar. It'll be great. Here's my here's my guess, folks. Avatar two is gonna make less than two billion. What? Wow, shit. I don't, that's my I estimate. Know. Yeah, it was pretty long. I don't know. I I just hope it does really well again. Why? I, I ask people like... sometimes whether they really <laughs> like Avatar and are really looking forward to the next <laughs> ones, and it's pretty it's pretty big. It's pretty like there are a lot of people who want to see. Really. Know. I've yeah. I've never heard never a person think... say they were hyped for another Avatar movie ever. Dude, I'm but really I go out of my way to ask people. Do you ask people? No, I go on Reddit <laughs> okay, and they well, all say that they problem. hate it. Hey, yeah. hey Mumkey, I I loved Avatar. I I played the game Avatar. And I, I I just want to see what happens. What, for be, the Wii? It'll be really cool for PC. Oh, oh. <laughs> you gotta like run around as a with a Navi? Is that what they're called? With the uh, with the bow yeah. and arrow well, and shoot well, shit. I well, see yes, you, but I, I, ironically, you could also play as the Marines, and then you could kill the blue guys, and that was really Florian. cool. Florian, can yes. you name one character from Avatar? <laughs> well, the problem is that they... What's the blue lady called? Natari. <laughs> the, the, the problem is the that, that they had oh. different characters in the game, and I played the uh -huh. game more than the movie. Uh, you didn't That's watch it. the movie on repeat? Uh, uh... <laughs> Oh yeah, Sam Worthington. I, I this is entirely from my memory. His name Sam was Worthington Jake, plays right? Jake Sully. Yeah, yeah, Jake. Jake Sully. Uh, Natiri is uh, the blue one. Gamora. Uh, I, I remember that. Orich is the general. That's her, all. Her I know. name. Her name is Ridley. That's 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 her name. No, that's a different movie. <laughs> no, it's it's the same actress. That's the point. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing um... that she's in it, and and now she's old. I guess I, I, we just watched Aliens where she was young and. Damn. I, yeah. I heard change. from somewhere that James Cameron has been developing Alita Battle Angel for so long that he only made Avatar as an excuse to invent the technology necessary to make Alita. <laughs> that you could use, That's yeah. Not, I'm not even joking. Like, that was his motivation because he wanted to make – he wanted to invent new movie-making technology for Alita. So it's funny that Alita is, like, yeah, but then why, a flop. Why didn't he direct it then? He didn't direct Alita. Because he's busy making yeah. Avatar 2, 3, 4, and 5 all at the same time. <laughs> yeah, but then that means his priority nice. is Avatar, not Alita. Well, I, I think he had a lot of producer credit on Alita. I yeah, mean, he did. He did. Yeah, he so wrote the script. He just didn't want to direct that shit. He just wanted to make the technology to see his favorite mm -hmm. manga come to life. Right. <laughs> he's a is weeb James Cameron the richest weeb in the world? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what other weeb can spend a decade creating a new technology to make his favorite waifu come to life on the screen <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> there's gotta be 200 million dollar movie there's, there's gotta be some super rich weebs in like <laughs> asia right you yeah. think they do that well they, they're not weebs if they're in asia yeah yeah they're just <laughs> normal asian people you rich yeah oh that's right yeah they're otaku I, I... I guess they're spending lots of money on the on that wife with technology though. Know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why are we trying to get Flory and a girlfriend? We should just wait until they make the waifu <laughs> sex robot and just buy him one. Yeah, uh, he I can fucking wait. buy his own. Why would I buy him <laughs> yeah. that? No, you need to buy it. It's the <laughs> only <you>. way. <laughs> <laughs> That's my main problem with women is that I'm too miserly. So bacon you crafted. Need to buy me this one. <laughs> the bacon crafted curtain wants to know if uh, the Navi and Avatar can link their pubes together. <laughs> Oh man, that, well they they their link pubes? their ponytails. Yeah, yeah don't they, they, they put their ponytails together. Can they put their pubes together? God, I hope they don't have pubes. That would really ruin them for me. <laughs> <laughs> you like a clean shaven Navi? Yeah. How does any of their? Because they're gonna have kids in this movie. Like, how does any of that work? What sex? I mean, the... You stick the cock in yeah. the pussy. <laughs> nice. But they don't, strictly speaking, have a cock. I don't think. <laughs> I think they do. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. They, their tails? I'm, sure they, I'm sure they don't even they like, don't even have sex. They don't even reproduce. How do they live? We don't they just, know. They just put the the ponytails together and that makes a baby. Yeah, yeah, but like, no. See, they there's an animal that we haven't seen yet. They just put the ponytail in that animal and then it spits out a baby. It's really disgusting. What, is it like a stork? <laughs> yeah, but but really <laughs> big and I, I guess it, I I I think it's more like a toad, a massive toad. Instead of that, breastfeeding that their babies, the so they just get the the monster that Luke was drinking milk from in Star Wars, <laughs> and they have the baby's yeah. milk. You rich, you're you're a nerd. What's the name of that fucking monster? What's the actual name it. of it? It's a Thala Siren. You, 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 you disgust me. Get off my fucking screen. <laughs> you're horrible. Yeah, I know. 
I don't know. That monster's pretty good. I think he should know its name too. <laughs> so this year there are three Marvel movies coming out: Captain mm-hmm. Marvel, uh, Avengers: Endgame, and Spider-Man: Far From Home. I want you guys to yeah. rank. Uh, rank oh, what, 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 what you think will so. what do you think will be best to worst on the tomato meter and and rank them by box office gross well hold on i gotta yeah yeah go get your pizza while e rich answers like... so you can't copy oh it. my god florian's gotta go get pizza his corn pizza um do you want to hear my guess first um sure uh i think knowing how the tomato meter works i think spider-man's gonna get the highest score then Captain Marvel oh, would be like two right. points below, and then Endgame is going to get like another eighty percent, just like Infinity War did, because most critics aren't going to get it because they've missed the first twenty movies. Mm-hmm. But didn't didn't uh, what was call it do well? Didn't Infinity War do well on the no, meter? No, it had a pretty bad score. It didn't? Yeah, it was like really? an eighty or like seventy eight or something. I don't know. Look it up. Yeah, I'm going to do that right now. I, I want to look at what Infinity War did before I answer this. Because I think some of those critics are so, you know, snobby that they judge it as its own movie, whereas we judge right, it as right. this is the climax of an epic story. So, mm-hmm. um, Rotten Tomatoes got 85%. Yeah. Well, I guess it's not horrible, but Marvel, like, Marvel is usually like, you know, 93. Really? Yeah, man. I don't know. Marvel movies. I mean, look at what Spider-Man: Homecoming has. If you don't look at Thor one and two, they're all pretty high. I think not, both, both like, Guardians are like I think eighty-five percent is a pretty average. Well, yeah, it's like, it's, that's, it's that's pretty damn how much high, but it's, they usually get the original Avengers was like like ninety-seven or some shit. Really? Yeah, dude. I'm pretty I sure. think you're blowing some of the shit higher than it. I'm pretty sure. Oh, Whatever. God, all I'm saying is that's my guess. What do you think uh, the rankings will be? All right, so I think money wise, uh, Avengers. Hmm, it's interesting because I'm wondering if Spider Man is going to have enough steam behind it after Infinity War. I think it will really because it, it, it will? they're saying it the beginning of the movie takes place a minute after the end game ends. So right, right. I think like people who are hyped after end game will want to see Spider Man's next adventure immediately after Tony Stark dies. Right, right. Um, I'm just now looking up what... Uh, Homecoming had 92% on RT. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. These Marvel movies Shit. get boosted scores. Uh, Age of Ultron had a 75%. Are you telling me that Infinity War was only 10% better than Age of Ultron? That's fucking absurd. <laughs> that, yeah, that can't be yeah. right at all. <laughs> Infinity War yeah. is the greatest film ever put put on the screen. Age of Ultron right. was mediocre. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I, I think the bigger and more complex these movies get, the more uh, the critics tend to tune out just because yeah, they, they, they haven't paid attention and really, like, yeah, really actually get invested in this stuff. Right. Um. So they will check out. So, like, I think Captain Marvel, number one, Rotten Tomatoes, then Spider Man. You then think, in, you think it's uh, gonna end game. Why do you think Captain Marvel will be boosted on its uh, critic score so much? Like as a um, sort of like a I Ghostbusters think it will be a 2016 competent thing? movie. A competent Sorry. movie. that will also be. <laughs> F- shut the fuck up, Florian. Um, a com- <laughs> <laughs> He's eating his corn yeah. pizza. Yeah, a competent yeah, movie pizza. that that gets uh, female appeal from being the first uh, female Marvel character, which other I can't than the Wasp believe. from last year. It took 11 years to get a female-led. Uh, well, what about Ant-Man and the Wasp? Her name is in the title. She's the co-lead of that movie. Uh, if you look at the... Brie Larson is the lead of... Oh, well, yeah, Marvel. but if you look at the posters, uh, the Wasp is, like, the main, and uh, uh, Paul Rudd is kind of off to the side. Really? Does yeah. Paul? Yeah, but does Paul Rudd come first on the posters? Well, he's, like, the comic relief of his own movie, and and the Wasp is, like, you know, yeah, the, the kick-ass hero of the movie. Paul Rudd's like the totally idiot husband first. who doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, he totally gets emasculated, just like that bad boy. Paul Rudd is credited first. <laughs> who cares? <laughs> because he's the man. They obviously care. Like, all of this shit is, like, gone over by fucking contracts and shit. Dude, Scooby-Doo is also the first in the name. And also, it's not Wasp and Ant-Man. It's Ant-Man and the Wasp. Well, because it's a sequel to Ant-Man, you can't just switch <laughs> up the title like that. 
Yeah, but Paul Rudd is listed first. The on Wasp the should be Disney. happy that they included her name, and she's the first <laughs> female Marvel hero to have her name in the title of a film. Uh, I'm saying that these things are important the way that uh, yeah. they're laid out, but I guess if you guys say they're not, then whatever. Um, and then well, money-wise... I mean, she makes fun of him the entire movie. I don't know what you're Shut the fuck about. up! <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Yuri. <laughs> money-wise, money um, Endgame number one, uh, oh, yeah. Homecoming number two, Captain Mar like Marvel Whoa. number three. Unless, like, unless Captain Marvel is another like Black Panther-type event <laughs> thing, which I don't think it is, honestly. If only the trailer didn't make me think it looked like dog shit. If if she was called Captain Woman, I think maybe <laughs> it might be better. Yeah, because it would have the Wonder Woman because effect. Black Panther had the word black in it. No, you you're want. you're fucking yeah. right, dude. The first female yeah. DC movie has to have woman in the title. The first uh -huh. black one has to have black in the title. Like these people are so mm -hmm. fucking dumb. They have to be told what their demographic is in the title of the movie. <laughs> why why I don't know, with static shock do well? <laughs> static, yeah. Static shock would do horribly because it doesn't say black uh, shock. Wait, Sta black static lightning black. though. Black lightning would do well. Yeah, that movie's gonna <laughs> make two billion dollars. <laughs> Guys, do you think that Black Panther had a good trailer? Uh, better than fun. Captain Marvel. Are you sure? I hated it. Captain Marvel it, it, so far has worse CGI than anything in Cap or in Black Panther. Mm -hmm. All damn. I mean, I never really watched the trailer because I like not being spoiled. And I guess I got lucky somehow, but I guess I'll see. Maybe eventually. No, actually, I guess I'll never see the trailer. The trailers for Black Panther were really good because they had that Run the Jewel song during it. Yeah, that, that is song. true. Yeah, they had a good song. No, it. that's so rebellious, damn it. And uh, the Run the Jewel song, I think, was performed by a white guy, so kind of yeah. <laughs> went against the, the whole idea. Damn. <laughs> Couldn't get a, a black rapper for the Black Panther trailer. <laughs> Man, they should have had Eminem. That would have been great. <laughs> now he's too busy doing Venom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Venom, Venom, with the Venom, Venom. Venom, Venom, Venom. <laughs> what a great song. Ah, oh, the best. When is Venom every, 2 coming every out? Every superhero song, every, every non-MCU superhero movie should have an Eminem rap at the end. <laughs> that explains the plot of it. Or Will Smith <laughs> rapping if he happens to be in the movie. Do you, oh, think, yeah. do you think Aladdin will end with Will Smith rapping the plot of Aladdin? Oh, my God. That would be the best. Oh, Jesus. That would make it worse seeing just that. I think Genie in in the Aladdin reboot movie should sing about Will Smith shit. Like, he should reference being the Fresh Prince. Yeah. And <laughs> he should reference funny. iRobot, and he should reference all of this shit. I would love that, He actually. should reference YouTube Rewind and how he loves Fortnite. <laughs> Yo, I used to have a dog, but I had to kill it. <laughs> That's your Will what? Smith impression. Yeah. <laughs> I just watched to Bad Boys 2. <laughs> yeah, I, I missed your Bad watch? Boys 2 review today. I was I only Lauren. caught the Anita Sarkeesian portion. Oh, All yeah. right. I forgot to talk about Will Smith acting like a uh, uh, normal black person uh, when he's threatening uh, the uh, son of... Who, no, not the son. Now, the character is trying to date. Rich, what Lawrence do you mean by oh, yeah, Will Smith acted something. like a normal black person? I'm very confused here. This sounds horrendously offensive. This sounds yeah, worse that than was the Medea movie. Jesus, Irish, it was which, pretty offensive. Are you fucking yeah, I gotta say that. I gotta it's say worse that. Than when you said the N word, oh my god. <laughs> we don't. We don't talk about that. <laughs> a that, that the link to that clip has been posted in the chat so many times. <laughs> <laughs> Post okay. it again. I'm still waiting See for anybody there. in the chat to ask us a question, but they're just talking with each other. Yeah. We're not interesting. No, I guess not. So I guess the question is, what's better, Spider-Man or Captain Marvel, huh? Because yeah, Endgame what do you obviously think? be best. Yeah, do, which one do you think will get a better critical score, and which one do you think will make more money? Well, damn, I, I actually don't know. I just know that I think I like Captain Marvel more, because I really don't like Spider-Man. Yeah. What do you have against Spider-Man? Like, just the new one or Spider-Man in general? I hate that he's always a teenage boy. He never gets to grow up. It's, <laughs> it's fucking infuriating. He should have fucking grown up with me. What the fuck is this? Well, I I think that's what they're going to do with the Tom Holland Spider-Man, is that we get to see him grow from 15-year-old into adult. I think uh, he'll be like the new Tony Stark of this universe, who, uh, like, that's the main character who we're going to follow, unless they really want to shoehorn... Captain Marvel as the new main character. That's going to be really <laughs> that would, annoying. Wait, isn't she like a hundred years old? Yeah. Now. 
It it, it would what have you... to be a character we've known for at least four years, man. If they if they're gonna try to make this brand new character come in and kill Thanos, who we just met, and then make them the main character when all the main characters die, I'm probably just never even gonna <laughs> consider watching a Marvel movie again. What horrible storytelling! Wait. Well, why do you think that that would happen, even? Well, I, I was talking about this on my stream last night, but uh, and I, I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but they they filmed two different versions of Avengers Endgame, like mm -hmm. like wow. twenty minutes worth of different scenes. One where Captain Marvel <laughs> has a huge role in defeating Thanos, and one where Captain Marvel has like you know kind of a reduced role in the. Is this the, legit? Or, and this they're trying legit. to. This is they're legit. Gonna... Wait until they see how the movie does. Right. Depending on how Captain Marvel does, they'll change which version of the movie they release, which makes me really wow. upset. Like, just no. just let the original oh, heroes win, dude. Come on. Dude, dude they're finally going to do it. They're finally going to bring a choose your own adventure to the cinema. Everyone will get a <laughs> vote. <laughs> no, they they kind of did that with uh, the Clue movie. Like, they released three different versions of that movie. <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah, but, but this will be choose. Yeah, gonna you get which one? Yeah, this time you get to like choose. Like, okay, if you want to see the Captain Marvel version, go see it in this theater. <laughs> if you want to see the good version, go see it in this theater. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Actually, Mumkey, I really wish they didn't do that. I wish they had just filmed the Captain Marvel wins everything for them thing, and then I would love if like that movie does terribly, and then <laughs> so everybody they have to just do has reshoots to, like, watch... in three weeks. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I just want everybody to watch as their least favorite character just, like, wins everything. Yeah, I mean, it would be like if uh, in episode six of Star Wars, uh -huh. uh, Luke and Vader are about to fight. Out of nowhere. You know, Rose Tico shows up and kills Vader in one punch. <laughs> no, 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 no. What no, the not fuck? In one punch. Just like pretty cool. used to, to save Finn, just her giant speeder just rams Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like and, hit by a bus. And then she she flicks the Emperor and he falls to his death. Yeah, yeah. And she says, "I saved the Finn. day. I'm Rose." It's not about lo <laughs> saving the ones we love. It's about killing the ones it's we hate. It's about killing the it. Emperor. Yeah, it was after she all. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I got it wrong the first time. <laughs> <laughs> but this takes place in the past. Did Rose Tico go back in time? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> She's that powerful. Yeah, you know, I've She's thought about Captain it. Marvel. You know how the big criticism is that it doesn't make sense that Finn <laughs> flying his spaceship straight into the the, rays, the laser beam, uh, he should not be. Uh, he's going so fast that Rose should not be able to swerve into him at an angle. That it doesn't make sense, but I thought about it. Erich, could it be that because Finn was flying into this laser beam energy source, maybe that was slowing him down, and that's why Rose was able to go fast enough to hit him? Yeah, that makes sense. Is that canon? I think it that actually looked be. like it was slowing him down. So yeah. sure. Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe we should give Mahler a call and see if he can give us a uh, history. <laughs> yeah, on it. He, see, it wouldn't have worked after all. It would have just pushed him out of the laser. Yeah. So it's good she saved him. Damn. Alexa just talked and it scared the shit out of <laughs> what, what did she say? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I didn't hear it. I, I thought someone was breaking into my house. <laughs> e Rich, I'm oh. coming for you. No, meanwhile, you're just really scared of your girlfriend. And every time you hear a woman talk, you're just scared. Wait, wait. Mm. Is it, has Alexa been e Rich's girlfriend this whole time? <laughs> oh, oh no. no. The secret's out. God damn it. <laughs> well, that's too bad. Wait, where was that where someone was dating Alexa? Uh, hmm. That was me and Junkie. Oh, it was? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, was I thought Erich was ripping off my story with his real life. <laughs> oh, it's just too compelling. <laughs> it's just like he was telling me. When people see misogyny on the screen, they'll, they'll do misogyny in real life. And if mm -hmm. they see how, how good robot <laughs> women are... <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a misogyny. <laughs> Yeah, what, what kind of cuck would make the argument that violent video games would lead one to be, become violent in real life? Oh, man. Who would do that on a podcast about an hour and a half ago? Well, it's more yeah, like being desensitized be... to it, so you can see school shootings outside and not really give a shit. Eh, well, I mean, Elliot Roger played a lot of uh, World of Warcraft, but I don't... Mm. I don't know if his attack was uh, was based on doing a raid or anything. Maybe, maybe before... Uh, <laughs> Maybe before he shot up that 
what mall or whatever. Well, he yelled he Leroy said, Jenkins. Leroy <laughs> Jenkins. I'm glad we were on the same page on that one. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. Right. <laughs> Maybe he did. We have no way of knowing what he yelled while he was killing his roommates. <laughs> Well, did he kill everyone? Why don't we know? <laughs> yeah, I don't, well, people weren't around to hear it. Oh. Wait, did he shoot up a mall with no one in it? No, he, he nah. shot up a college town. I'm actually, like, pretty... He, he could have gotten way you're more Pretty people. ambivalent I think about he did a pretty Rogers shitty Rogers' action, is what you're saying. He did a pretty shitty job, I think. Yeah, hey, Rich, what do you fucking know? It's not like a shooter where you click to shoot. <laughs> Can you imagine carrying a real gun? Jeez, Erich. The thought of even I've looking a at a gun seriously. drives Erich up the wall. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, nah, dude, he, he just picks it up and then he just just does flawless headshots when he goes insane. Well, he's going to be. Elliot <laughs> did fire into an empty coffee shop, so maybe. Yeah, right. Maybe right. he didn't know what he was doing. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Must have. I think that might be it for today's stream, unless you guys had anything else you really wanted to talk about. I got the piss. All right. <laughs> well, I'm sorry for this pizza, but it was worse. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah, enjoy your corn pizza, you piece of shit. What kind of texture is the corn, Florian? Well, it's very crunchy. <laughs> crunchy corn? Crunchy pizza. It's not soft okay. corn. Well, it's soft, but it's just a little crunchy. All right. Okay. Talk to All you right. boys later. Thanks for coming on for another Kino. Goodbye. Goodbye. And to all of you, thanks for tuning in. Maybe we'll do a depression chamber tonight. Uh, all I know is I need to go look at some goats. I need to eat some lunch. Around 7, I'm recording Boomer versus Zoomer. So that's going to be the rest of my day, folks. Hope you guys enjoy your Sunday. Uh, be good at school tomorrow. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And I'll see you next time.